Where's my new computer? I'm wearing it. Forward Thinking attended CES 2015, the consumer electronics trade show that's all about incorporating the tech of tomorrow into the products of today. What did we discover while we were there? Come along and find out. You know, just a couple of years ago, the term wearables was really more of a buzzword than anything else, but now it's a full-fledged industry. Now, we should probably start where wearables had their first major success, and that's in fitness and health. That's why I'm next to Wahoo Fitness's booth. They have a new product, the Ticker X. It's a sensor you wear on your chest, and it can track everything from your exercises like jumping jacks and push-ups, to your running style, to even judging the intensity of your workout to make sure you're getting the most of the time you're putting in. Beyond that, we're seeing more wristbands coming out, such as the in-body wristbands. These can tell you everything from your activity level to your heart rate to your percentage of body fat. But we also have seen this work its way into fabric itself with companies like the Ming Young Biomedical Corporation. We talked to the inventor who created these cool shirts that actually have sensors woven into the fabric itself. Other companies are doing similar things. Sensoria has this amazing pair of socks that pairs with an ankle sensor that connects with magnets. It tells you how you're running, whether you're striking your heel too hard on the ground, letting you know how to correct bad behaviors before you result in an injury or just a bad run. Now beyond fitness, we're seeing wearables everywhere. For example, there's the Narita Clip 2. It's a clip on camera that makes sure you never miss that photographic opportunity. It's constantly taking pictures. It's different from its predecessor in that it also incorporates Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology, which means you can sync wirelessly without plugging in a USB cable. Next is a real treat. I got to try out the Muse headband. Now what this does is it actually measures your brain waves to help you relax, a skill that's very necessary at a place as chaotic as CES. What it does is it measures how your brain is active. And when your brain is getting too active, it starts to let you know by playing the sound of wind. Well, once you start to relax, that wind is replaced by the sound of gentle babbling water. And you know that you're on the right track. It starts getting windy again. You know your mind is wandering and you can get back into relaxing. It's really a meditation tool. And believe it or not, relaxation is a learned behavior. And I need all the practice I can get. This is what I love about wearables. There are all sorts of applications from health to capturing your memories to more, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. The future of computers is wearable. So I've got a question for you. Who are you wearing? What does it do? No, but seriously, where do you think wearable computers are going next? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then check out these other great videos right over here.